Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I am here in my Sterling Ink A5 Common Planner. Sorry, Lucy is trying to get into my lap right now. And I'm here to decorate for the week of April 15th through to the 21st. And I will be using some stickers in my latest new release. These are the daisies. So these were hand painted using fountain pen ink and then I have scanned them and made them into stickers to share with all of you. So these are currently available in my shop which I will link in the description below. Let's get started. Okay so I will be using these in my daily journaling spread as well but I wanted to bring in some of this Simply Gilded Washi. This was purchased maybe two or three years ago, 2020 or 2021. So it's been a while since I've had these in my collection and I haven't used them. I went on a bit of a spree getting all of the washi and then realized I'm not actually gonna use all of them. So what I'm first gonna do is probably place this big circle right here at the bottom and then probably place one of those strips of washi down there as well. These were so fun to paint. I really do love painting loose florals and this washi made up of those images just feels so dainty. I'm putting a little bit of washi down. Now to remember which way this goes. It's always so hard with nails. Okay. I'm trying to remember who it was that was like, I not I want to rearrange your sticker order that you put it down, and I totally get it. Some weeks I'm like, I really don't care. I'm gonna turn the page on it anyway. And other weeks I'm a lot more concerned about how things go down. This, I feel like, yeah, I'm a little bit more concerned about having that washi down like that. Then on this side, I want to make sure that I still have enough room for the uh, habit tracker. So let's put just some deco here. It's so light, these stickers, because I did use quite light fountain pen ink for these, but I think I think it just works out really well that way. So mm, I feel like that would get lost in there. So I'll probably just place a smaller one here and then I'll place this bigger one here with probably one of the lighter purple stickers, lighter purple circles, purple circles. And just like so. Oh, I love that. Oh, love it. Okay, then up at the top, I think I can put down some more of this washi, but not too much. I don't want the purple of this to overpower the spread too much. I really just want it to help accent whatever I have going here. So maybe let's add the yellow over top and then let's use some of the smaller. some of the smaller daisies. I've done a daisy collection before, but that was all done in Procreate before I had even started. Um, before I had even started trying to paint with fountain pen ink, I had done it all in Procreate. I need to put something up here. I think I'm gonna focus on these but yeah so basically I had really no experience back then with painting and to be able to come back and do a daisy collect collection that looks so different to what I had done then I feel like is a huge stepping stone for me because I would never have imagined that I would be creating a new collection of daisies all in fountain pen ink. It's crazy. So I'm going to save some of these for 
the, hmm, yeah, I want to save them for the daily spread, but I feel like I can use probably one more circle. But I'm using, hmm, which one do I want to use? I think I'll use purple again. And I know I'm covering the date here, but I don't mind that too much. And let's do this. Oops, there we go. Okay, so then I think I can go in here. Let's move this to the side and put this back in its place to help me figure out where everything is. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Tombow Food and Escape brush pen and brush in the letter or the word sleep because that is where I'm going to keep track of my sleep scores. I'm using this green. These swatches are also painted and then put into Procreate. So then let's use, this is a fun color. This is my Le Bon 325 and it currently has Ferris Wheel Press Knitted Metal. And I think this green is actually the green that I used when painting these, but the fountain pen inks, whoops, uh, I'll wipe that out. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The fountain pen inks do look different because I'm adding water. So there's a little bit of chromatography happening here. And while I'm trying to use the same fountain pen inks that I've got inked up in my pens, when you add water to it, and even when I transfer the finished work to scan and then to procreate, the colors do get uh, changed a little bit. So it's never gonna be a perfect exact match, but I do my best. Okay, so I want a purple. The purple is in my Narwhal uh, Voyage Tromso, and this has Diamine Amazing Amethyst in here, and it's such a gorgeous combination. And I know I had issues with the piston of this pen, but the nib writes just beautifully. Plus it's a really, I feel like it's a really well lubricated ink. So week three lower. So here I also keep track of what workouts I'm doing. So I try to four times a week to do weight training, which is about 30 minutes a day. And then I still follow that up with my stepper machine. And then on the days that I'm taking a rest from weight training, I do solely the stepper machine. I love my stepper machine. I have it placed right in front of the TV in the basement. And that is where I watch YouTube. I love it. It's like my dedicated YouTube time to, uh, and, and still get stuff done while I'm on the stepper. Let's wait this out. Okay. Next, we will go ahead and add work. Let's move that here. So let's see. I'm going to brush letter in the word work Monday through Thursday so that I can then cover that using the swatches. However, I am realizing that I want to use the yellow swatches, but I don't really have an ink to match that at the moment. That's okay. The yellow is the color of the stamen in, inside the daisy there. I really like the way that it looks. And then I'm going to, down here at the bottom, Right, habits, and then add a header for that as well, or a swatch on top of that. 
perfect. And then for consistency, I think maybe I'll just, hmm, no, nope. I'll draw in the lines using my fountain pens, but have my trusty blotting paper here. Blotting paper prevents me from smudging the ink that is still wet on the page. And there will always be smudging. No matter how hard I try, there will always be a little bit of smudging. Somebody asked on the fountain pen enthusiasts group on Facebook, what do you do if you make a mistake in your planner or in your journal? Do you start completely over? What are What do you do? And as a person who has been planning for as long as I have, mistakes like that don't seem to affect me as much as it used or as it did when I first started planning. When I was first planning, I think those mistakes really got to me, but really it's cross it off, cross it out and move on, put a sticker over it, nothing too crazy. Meal planning and order groceries. And even if you decorate a spread and you don't like the way it looks, that's okay. You, you know, you live with the spread for a week and then you turn the page and decorate a new spread. Such is life. Do I have enough garbage stickers? Uh-huh. Am I running low on gar- oh my gosh, I am. I have like another month's worth left of garbage stickers. I'll have to buy new garbage stickers. Alrighty. I do like the garbage stickers from Paper Bits Co. Or I could really just start using the ones that I have in my shop. Um, I really like using Modi Modi's actually because it does brighten the spread. I have had some spreads where I have not used any emojis when it's just memory keeping. And I like the way that it looks, but when I'm planning like this, I might as well use what I've got. Sometimes a sticker is really able to convey the feeling behind all the meetings, for example. Now, let's see, 18, then groceries. There isn't anything major happening this week. Other than my husband is going away for the weekend. He is having a, a weekend at the cabin with my brother-in-law and their friend. They seem to be doing it as a yearly thing now. So I'm gonna have some time with the kids, but also my plan is to work on taxes, my income tax, or my tax return all weekend. I know it's not going to take all weekend, but it's one of those tasks where I feel like I need to have a dedicated time for it or else it's just going to overwhelm me. So next weekend is all about taxes. Now, let's see. I'm going to, for Friday, uh, what pen am I using for this one? Friday, weigh in, and then really don't have any other plans for the rest of that day, which will allow me to at least prep the taxes. I don't want to write anything in here just yet. I think what I'll end up doing is probably adding in another dot for Henry's Ninja on Sunday. And that will also be this purple pen. And then, oh, I need to remember cleaning. So, oh, cleaning sticker. I love the cleaning emoji stickers. It makes cleaning just that much more fun. Well, not really. 
um, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. There we go. Wow, I'm working my way through these pretty well. Okay, cleaning again. More from Paper Bits Co. This girl looks way too happy to be cleaning. <laughs> so for this, it really will be bathrooms. And since my husband is away, I'll do the vacuuming. And then windows, oh, I can get him to do that when he gets back. Um, go around to get all the garbage bins. And we'll leave that for now, because I know if I add more to it, it'll just stress me out. Oh, okay, and then last thing I'm gonna put down here are my habits, so uh, listen to my audiobook, read 10 to 15 pages, which I haven't been great at, and then meditate. Again, haven't been really great at since coming back from vacation. But for me, actually seeing my habits on my weekly spread really helps me to be aware of them. If you guys saw my planner update, you'll see that my habit tracker at the beginning of the planner, like my, my yearly habits, I do not keep track of them in there anymore because it's just hard for me to have to flip to a different place to keep track, or is at least a tracker here. I can see it every day because my planner is open to this page pretty much every day for that week. So all right, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else I need to add in here. Those are things I know that are happening. I mean, I want to take the kids out to the movies on the weekend when my husband's away, but I know I'm also going to be working on taxes and filming and stuff. So I'm leaving it open and then I will fill it in as I go. But also this week I will be filming as a week in the life. So you'll be able to see me fill this in as we go. All right, but that is it for me for now. What do you guys think of this spread? I really like the purple in it. And the purple was actually just an accent color on these daisies, but I love the purple in it. And that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.